All right, welcome back. It is July 31st, and we've had a crazy month. In the past month, I think there were six days in July where we didn't have any rain. It feels like it's rained almost every day this month. We had almost a foot of rain in July, which is about four times the average rainfall we normally get here. So everything is very lush right now. The trees are doing great. You know, everything that's flowering is, is coming up strong. The goldenrod looks really good. The bees are foraging. They're bringing in pollen, nectar. Things feel good. But I haven't actually been in the hives very much in the past month because the weather's been so crappy. Today's goal is to get in and do a mite check on every hive. And I'm going to just make sure everyone's queen right. The plan was to have a treatment program starting August 1st, which is tomorrow. So today we're going to see who needs treatment and just go deep in all the hives. Okay, let's see if we can find a queen and do a quick mite check in here. Okay, open brood on this frame. Just a lot of freshly laid eggs and, and young larvae here. Don't see the queen. Gotta find the queen because I'm gonna shake bees into, a, into the box and collect bees for the sample to test and they don't want to shake the queen in. Okay, there's our queen right there. I'm gonna isolate her. Okay, she's right here. Okay, we need some open brood. Okay, there's a lot of open brood on this frame. So I'm gonna shake these bees Half a cup. Okay, queen's going back in. Maple hive. Two mites. I don't expect very many mites in this hive because uh, they they started off pretty slow and that queen was very slow for a couple months. So there has not been a ton of brood in here. Zero. <phone rings> Completely clear. Okay, this is the beach hive test. Very low mite load. Two or maybe three. Actually, that's a stain on the cup. I think I see two. Two mites. <phone rings> Pretty good. So this is the pine colony. And they had a brood break for one month in pretty much all of July. So mite load I'm expecting will be pretty low. No mites, zero. Zero mites. Cap and honey on the outside, which is expected and normal. 
queen. Queen's out here on the outside frame. I'm gonna grab her into the clip. All right, let's see what they're doing with these frames. Yeah, they're connecting and they're starting to draw out the bottom. So she's laying in the top part there. They're drawing out the bottom. Yep, they're drawing that out and that's got eggs in it. Eggs down there on the bottom. All right, this is a slow, steady build. They're, they're building. Yeah, there's far more drawn out on the bottom now. See how they're using the frame? All brewed down there, and they're, they're drawing it out on both sides. So they are using the lower entrance, and they're, it seems that diverting them down below probably inspired them to, uh, to work lower, because there was nothing in the bottom half of these frames. Yeah, look at that. Boom. All new brood down there. So that did it. So there's something I learned. With these deep, deep frames, do not have upper entrances, only lower entrances so they can work down to the bottom. So that is a good tip. All right, they look, they look fine now. Population is gonna be fine for the fall flow. So I'm just gonna put them back together. I'm not even gonna do a mite test in here because they had such a huge brood break and they had zero mites in May. I'll test them at the end of this month. Okay, oak hive. This hive was really massive. Um, this hive has three supers. Um, they were huge. They were so big, I wanted to split them and propagate the queen. So I moved the queen over to the resource hive on June 30th, which is just over a month ago, a month and a week. And basically did a walk away split. Left this hive to make their own queen. So let's see if they did it. I have not opened this hive since June 30th. They've been on their own completely. All right, let's see if we're queen right down here. And if we're not, then maybe I will put the Oak Queen back in here from her resource hive. If they fail to make a queen, it is too late to try again. So I may just give them their queen back. Ah, uh, we got eggs. Eggs all over. And queen on this frame. This beautiful pattern of eggs there. So we are queen right. Ah, oh, beautiful capped brood. All right, we've been queen right for a while. Woo! That was a walk away, a walk away split. Gorgeous. I do see some queen cups on the other side. I'm gonna get rid of those. I don't want you girls thinking it's time to swarm. I know you're kind of honey bound, but we don't want to swarm right now. It's a bad time to swarm. Because the summer's not gonna last. Slamming. Okay, two more frames to check. Wow. There she is. Right on her frame there. Okay. Let me get rid of that queen cup. She does not need this. She's got all this area to lay in here. Where'd she go? She's on the she's on the honey. Go back to your brood there. All right, I'm gonna put her back. So I started this video a week ago. I wanted to do mite checks on all the hives and make sure everyone was queen right. 
and this is where we stand. The birch hive is doing great. There were a lot of queen cups being formed in there. I thought maybe they were feeling a little tight, so I gave them an extra super. Nothing is capped in the super, but I wanted to give them some space. I took all the queen cells off. They are queen right and building fine. The oak hive is slamming. That was That's just my mega hive for the year. That hive is gigantic. The queen was doing so well before I put her into a nuke. Let them make a queen. I waited 40 days, checked them out, full of brood, good queen in there. All those supers were looking pretty full, but nothing was capped. So I'm leaving them on for another few weeks. Our fall flow doesn't start for another three weeks or so. So hopefully we get some heat, we get some weather for the bees to, uh, to reduce that nectar and start capping that, that honey. So I'm gonna check them in a couple weeks. Beach Hive is also a slamming hive. I didn't split Beach Hive this year. That is the original queen in there and she just built up like crazy and they are now on their fourth super. Again, three supers were pretty jammed, very heavy, but nothing was capped. I did not test the water content of the honey, but I'm just gonna leave them because I've got nothing better to do. And we, we had been very cold, so I know they weren't reducing the honey because it was chilly, but things are getting hot now. We're gonna have a couple hot weeks here. So leaving that on for them to cap. Gave them an extra super for them to fill because they are still bringing in, bringing in resources. Um, did the mite check on the beach hive and saw two mites, so no treatment required right now. I'm gonna be checking them at the end of the month to get ready for the fall. Pine hive is slow and steady. They are queen right. Uh, they are doing fine, but I did make three splits out of this hive, so I, I didn't expect much from them. They do have two supers. One of them has some weight to it, but nothing's capped. But I'm gonna let them go because there's a lot of brood in there. The new queen is laying like crazy. And hopefully when the fall flow hits, they'll have a place to put honey. Also, my check on this hive, zero mites, because they had a good 30 day brood break. Maple hive, slamming. They have three supers. Again, they're all heavy, but nothing is capped. So I'm leaving them alone and letting, hopefully the heat help them reduce that honey and get that stuff capped. Did the mite check. There were two, I thought I saw three, but I think I only saw two mites in this hive. So not enough to, to treat right now. I'm gonna check them in a few weeks at the end of August to just do another check, see where they are with mites and maybe start treating then. But right now, they're fine, they're building, and uh, they're doing great. Cherry Hive had a huge brood break earlier this year, and the queen was very slow to start laying. Um, I did the split. I brought the original uh, Adrian's daughter queen over to that nuke over there and let them make a queen here. So this was just um, a self-made queen. And she was very slow to mate and start laying. So they had a very long brood break. I did a mite check on them on May 16th and saw zero mites. And then after you know a month and a half of brood break, um, I didn't bother testing this hive. I will test them again September 1st just to check, but uh, I doubt there's any mites in this hive because there were zero and then they just had no brood. So uh, they are building up. The, they were again, slow to build, but they are building now. And that is kind of par for the course for a Balboa hive, kind of slow and steady but usually slamming by September. So hoping uh, that happens here, but overall looking good. For the resource hives, it's kind of a mixed bag. The Adrian queen is still in there. Three-year-old queen still in there. And, you know, assuming she's still laying because there's brood in there and she's surrounded by bees and she's still there. Uh, there were queen cells in there, and what happened was there were two frames with queen cells, and I thought they were swarm cells, possibly. So I removed them and made another split over there. Rethinking this now, I'm thinking maybe those were super seeder cells. Maybe they were trying to replace the queen. There are two frames with uh, probably four or five queen cells over in that resource hive over there. I think what I'm gonna do is split them again and put, leave one queen cell over there and then put another frame with the queen cells back into the Adrian hive. In case they were trying to make a new queen, they'll have their queen cells back. So I think I'm gonna kind of re-split those frames, but keep that as a, a separate split because there's enough queen cells there to make two, two nukes. 
So I'm going to leave one over there, bring one back to Adrian. So if they were trying to make a new queen, they will. And if they were trying to swarm, I just took half their bees away and a lot of their resources. So I don't think they're going to swarm now because their population's way down. The queen nuke was looking kind of slow and sad, but I gave them a pollen patty and syrup. So hopefully that stimulates the queen to lay. That's the original oak queen who is a rock star. So she should be laying. I think they were just lacking resources. The pine queen and the pine hive are doing fine. Um, lots of brood and I gave them syrup as well to, to, to pump them along and they're doing all right. And then the Adrian side over here, the sorry, the pine side over here was also looking slow, but I gave them a ton of resources over on this side. I gave them pollen patty and I gave them a frame from the oak hive of uh, pure honey right in that, that nuke there. So queen is laying, they're queen right. Everyone's queen right except for the Adrian um, split that I made. And that's in the process because there's queen cells. So that's where we are. Uh, Midsummer, things are good. You know, everything's, everything's solid and there's hardly any mites up here. So looking like a good fall coming up.